Hi guys, welcome to a video showcase of a fantastic project which we've had the opportunity to work on for our clients. Um, it's always fun when we get really, really different kinds of specifications uh, for projects and it's always great to combine different kind of things on miniatures. Today we've got a really phenomenal Knight Force uh, made up of various different models from the Knight range with some little extra bits here and there, plus also an incredible paint job that's been done by Phil, one of the team members here at Siege. Um, but our client has requested some really, really cool anime style kind of artwork on all the shoulder plates, uh, which you're going to see throughout this video. Uh, and there's just loads of exquisite extra details across all the models, which really, really can finish off the force to make it look truly superb. Uh, so let's jump in, let's have a look at uh, uh, the models. Um, we've got seven knights in total, we've got th uh, four smaller armager size and then we've got uh, two normal Questorus knights plus also the big Castellan as well. Uh, again really great selection. Now first thing you're going to notice is obviously they're all independent colours which again looks really really cool. Makes every single one stand out quite massively within the force. Plus also they have different basing across the army as well which again is a bit of a narrative thing and setting thing for the specific knight. Um, we've got all banner of things on, on the base. We've got snow, we've got pumpkins on one of them, we've got rose petals, we've got uh, like the deck of an aircraft carrier on one of them uh, by the looks of it. So we've got some really, really cool dynamic basing across the force, which again, the, the you know makes every single one individual but at the same time we've also got a really good selection of uh, little things which pull the force together uh, so let's jump in i'm going to have a look at one of my favorite ones to start off with which is the green one uh, i really like the huge scythe that the model has got um, again we've got some really exquisite little details on there the little catch lights almost anime anime kind of zhing kind of like catch lights on the blade which is just something really really cool um, and again Really nice different coloration on this model. Again, keep making this model stand out differently to the rest of the force. Um, again, on all the shoulder guards, we've got these really cool different anime characters, uh, plus also a almost like a heraldic uh, sort of detail on the other pad that's consistent across all of the knights. Again, really do like the uh, orange and green sort of color split on this with the uh, with the pumpkins on the base of this. Uh, the armor trim being a lighter green just contrasts nicely to the darker sort of more royal warm green that we've got on there, uh, which is really cool. Um, they've all got a really great little uh, sort of like reckon, uh, designation numbers on various parts of the models on the weapons on sort of like some of the, um, the close combat weapons the cowlings on the guns and things like that uh, which is really cool um, again but I absolutely love this blade that Phil's done you've got that really kind of like it looks like it's straight out of an anime film or out of like Akira or something it's just really really cool um, again a little bit of conversion work has been done on them obviously the hands to hold the weapon as well are a little bit different I'm not too sure exactly where the parts are from, but uh, really, really cool parts that our client has sent us to work on this specific uh, specific model. And again, as we move through the force, let's start with the, we're going to go through the armatures to start off with. Uh, and you'll notice also as well that the base rooms are painted a different colour across the army, which is something really, really cool. Just again, making each model independent within the army whilst putting it together quite nicely as a force. Um, again, really cool set of colours on this one. You've got this lilac and this deep, rich purple. Um, I do like the bluish kind of grey kind of uh, trim on some of the shoulder guards as well, which is really nice. Um, this lovely pink uh, rose kind of coloured glow on the Volkite as well is just really cool. Uh, so that's just awesome. All of them have got free hand on the, the scrolls on the top above the heads, plus also they've got a unifying kind of heraldic shield on all of them that have got this specific uh, sort of like heraldry on it as well after a client request. But I absolutely love the uh, the unifying kind of like almost like um, sort of like house heraldry that our client has chosen uh, that's been sort of free handed on on all of the shoulder guards here and again just to touch upon it every single one has got like an anime style uh, sort of character on each of the other shoulder pads again a really lovely detail um, I do specifically love the use of the of the teal and turquoise to contrast the purple for sort of like any glass or lenses on this specific model which is really nice again we're gonna go through all of the armages to start off with um, we've got the uh, the pink one here which is really cool I absolutely love the chain linked banner it's a bit free free flowing as well which is cool and again all of the banners on the force are all free handed also now for this specific model the basing is really awesome because we've got this phenomenal moon kind of reflection in this uh, in these water effects that's been painted on the uh, on the base here which again just adds a real bit of narrative specifically to this model and adds a lot of interest you know bases sometimes are often overlooked and we really try to incorporate all what our client requested whilst also make it quite an interesting base as well as you'll see on this model uh, again pink and white contrasting color scheme which is just awesome uh, again you've got the uh, the anime style face on one shoulder plus also the, uh, the unifying heraldic uh, detail on the other pad uh, I absolutely love all of the trim on this one as well in that sort of super vibrant pink it's just contrasting the white armor panels quite nicely uh, we're gonna have a look at the last of the four armages which looks like it's standing 
landing on an aircraft carrier, which is uh, or the deck of an aircraft carrier, which is really cool. Um, and Phil's done a great job of representing that with again some water effects, some splashes, and some waves just at the front here. Again, we've got this really cool kind of like light refraction effect on the blade, which looks straight out of a, an anime film or comic, uh, which is just awesome. Uh, the colorway again, we've got the white and the teal and the blue, which is just really nice. Um, I do really, really love the, the 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 high contrast of the darker base to the super bright clean model, which is just really cool. Again, you've got some lovely striations on some of the metallics as well to give that anime kind of feel, which I think is just really nice across the across the miniatures. Yeah, again, you've got a really cool uh, anime character just on one shoulder pad, plus also the heraldry on the other. And then we've got that lovely little free-handed banner just in between the legs of this knight as well. So that's this awesome little armager. Let's move on to the bigger boys. Uh, we've got, um, let's we'll start with a bit big one here on the left, the mole on my left. Again, base again, we've got snow and some water effects, which just looks really cool. We've got some sort of like a refraction of like a night sky in the water here, which I think is quite cool. Um, and again, really, really high contrast, the white armor with the yellow trim, uh, red accent details on missiles and sort of like generator parts and view screens and things, which is really cool. And all the lenses are super bright, high contrast also. Um, again, the, all the, the main feature I think for me that really stands out straight away is the sheer amount of freehand that's done on this. Again, we've got these really, really cool anime style characters that are just on the shoulder pads. Uh, plus also we've got this really cool heraldic uh, sort of unifying symbol that's just on the uh, the right shoulder pad of all the knights. Again, all of them have got these really stunning freehanded banners and freehanded shields, which just, just really can complement the rest of the work that's been done on the miniatures also. I'm gonna save my favorite one till last because I genuinely, genuinely absolutely love this miniature from, from the pose, the colors usage and everything. So we're gonna go jump to the red one, which is normally red's my favorite color, but I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the other one as my favorite. Um, again, we've got the Castellan, again, high contrast white and uh, white and red color scheme, uh, just to really denote it. I love the kind of like half and half basing on it. So you've got like a really destroyed, eroded half with like gantry and like sort of like eye bar and stuff that's on there. And then towards the front of the model, we've got these lovely sort of like pink uh, rose bushes or bushes with some grass and stuff. So you've got like a bit of a complementary kind of base, which is quite cool. Um, again, all the, the free hand that's been done on the on the sort of tabard in between the legs, the, the shield on the, on its the, on its uh, on its right flank, and then we've got the anime character on the left pauldron, uh, which is uh, really really cool. I love the use of the purple hair on that as well, just to, to co uh, contrast and complement the, um, the 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 red armor trim, well, which is really nice. Uh, and then again, we've got this beautiful free-handed heraldry just on the other shoulder pad, which uh, which just really, really looks great. Uh, so that's the, the Castellan. Uh, and last up, we've got my favorite one from the Force, which again, just uses a triad of colors, which I really, really like. We've got sort of blue, purple, and uh, kind of like a greeny hue on it as well, which is just great. But for me, the base is just absolutely exquisite. We've got this really, really awesome um, awesome base that's uh, a resin base that a client or requested that we use for the project. We've got a scattering of rose pe uh, petals on the base as well, just a little thing from the spec that our client wanted. Uh, a bit of narrative for this uh, for this model in itself. Creamy white with a tealy green is uh, is just a really nice color contrast as well. And I love the blade, like the almost guarded stance of this model. Also, you've got uh, a bit of signifying text that's just on the um, that's just on the blade as well. Some of the metallics have got this uh, purplish kind of tint to them as well, to show a bit of like an energy effect from the weapon and same on this uh, on the main gun as well you've got this really nice use of the pink to contrast the purple and the, and the tealy green as well um, as ever on all of the models they've got these lovely free-handed uh, uh, sort of tabards or banners just hanging between the legs uh, we've got this really cool uh, anime character just on the shoulder pad the, uh, the use of the brown hair just works really nice it's a really warm rich brown which works lovely with the cool blues that are on there um, and again on the other pad we've got this beautiful uh, heraldic detail just on the shoulder pad that's consistent across the force. And it's really nice to see what Phil's done with reducing it on from the larger pan, uh, pads down to the smaller pads. And there's no deviation in sort of like refinement or quality as well, which I think is a really good use of, uh, of skill. Um, so that's this beautiful night force. Uh, an absolute pleasure to work on it for our client. A really cool set of models. Uh, and something a little bit different for your for, for your sort of like uh, army as well, which is, which is quite cool. And hopefully this gives you a real good understanding of the things you can get done with us and the types of projects that we undertake, um, especially for a really, really sort of standout models like this Night Force. So I hope you liked it. Hope you liked all the different models. Let us know in the comments which one is your favorite from the Force of Seven. Um, I'm really fan, a big fan of this blue and pink and sort of greeny colored one. But if there's one in there that you prefer, let us know in the comments. And uh, thank you very much for watching as ever. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.